Presenting our officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Nestor Bello, FIVB International Referee. Second referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde, National Referee. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our PLDT Home Fiber High Speed Hitters. Let's begin with jersey number five, Erika May Santos. At number six, Savannah Dawn Davison. Wearing jersey number nine, Kim Fajardo. At number 10, Mary Joy Baron. Number 13, Del Palomata. And number 17, Fiola May Ceballos. Starting Libero is our team captain. Number eight, Kathleen Faith Arado. Head coach, Mr. Raul Benson Ricafort. Presenting our SGA Strong Group Athletics team. Team captain wears jersey number 14, Dolly Grace Versosa. At number seven, Justine Andrea Rebleza. Wearing jersey number nine, Chumsi Ann Cowley. Number 11, Chica Espinosa. Number 17, Mary Joy Onofre. And number 19, Nikki Baldizanso. Starting libero is number three, Melanie Romero. Head coach, Mr. Rogelio, coach on York, Hetigan. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. PLD these starters on your screens and they really do mean business. Yeah, they are playing the team who is the bottom of the standings, but they are fielding the usual first six. I mean, a very important game for them. Again, the coming days are gonna have bigger implications for the semis. As we take a look at the starters also for the uh, SVA Strong Group Athletics who are looking for their first win. They can take it set by set. A, a set win here at this point is uh, a big accomplishment mm -hmm. for SGA and something that uh, really I know they'll need to work hard on in this particular matchup, but they are coming in. Uh, they are all in, as we heard from Franny, who was able to talk to the team in their dugout. So they, and gusto ko yung ano nila, Ayel, yung kanilang um, growth mindset. They, they know they have a lot to learn and a, um, a lot that they can pick up from playing these uh, incredible teams. And we've also seen a strong group also improve you know, every game, but uh, we have to be honest, it's really difficult to be a new team mm -hmm. in a PVL playing against well-established teams like uh, PLDT, Creamline, Chocomucho. And uh, that is also something that you can take advantage of. The pressure is off because um, nobody is really expecting uh, much from the new team. And so they can really play more loose, more relaxed. All right, and ex so, yeah, explain the, the scoring here, Ayel. So the automatic point given to strong group is actually because PLDT is wearing a different uh, uniform. Uh, they uh, should be in a dark uniform today, but they're wearing their light uniform. Mm. So I, I guess the pilita na rin ng strong group magdark yun bang nangyari but uh, that's a free point for strong group and right now we're tied at two apiece we also heard from Franny Reyes that PLDT really just wants to come on strong here in preparation for the difficult last three games that they have Let's quickly turn over to Franny Reyes, who has an um, additional report for us on the strong group side. Go ahead, Franny. All right, we'll check in with Franny a little later on, and we are tied at three apiece, so strong group. Uh, this is a very encouraging start for them, Ayel. Oh, that's true. 
And uh, that's what they need here. They want a strong start against the PLDT. Viola Ceballos there with that soft hit. Oh, and these errors that we're seeing right away, these are things that strong group really has to eliminate no, if they're going to play against uh, a team like PLDT. All right, let's take it over now. Back to Franny. Let's see if... Uh, Franny, are you ready? Yes, Chiki, I am ready. And I did get to speak with Zan Raslan of the Strong Group Athletics. Earlier, we talked about this being a learning process for them. And she told me that she really learned just how mature her team is. They haven't been together for long, but she really feels that everyone is making that effort. It's not hard for them to be together. It's just that that has to translate inside the court. And in today's game up against a top team in PLDT, she wants her team to learn the winning attitude. After every error, error yung babawi again, Hindi susuko. They want, she wants to see that fight from her team, but she also wants the team to improve in terms of defense, something that the high-speed hitters are really good at. So this is a learning experience for them, and let's see if they'll be able to challenge on the defensive side. Now, this report was brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive coverage for only 149 pesos a month. Back to the panel. Thanks a lot, Franny. And this is a pretty long rally mm -hmm. that we're seeing here. And the defense, something that Strong Group is working on, uh, all that effort paying off for them, and finally... Oh, that's true, they were challenging uh, PLDT in that uh, rally, a long one. A strong group with really good floor defense, but uh, Palomata ending that rally. Ceballos with a serve here. That's a good first ball by Romero. Davison, please, the blocking is there. Onofre slowing things down. No, but Palomata closing down Espinosa in the cross court attack. Sabalos. is continuing to serve here. Kaule pushing it out, and that's an error at the attack by Espinosa there. Now, PLDT also just reading the offense well of a strong group. I mean, uh, Fajardo and Palomata was uh, also there. Nakita natin tina target talaga ni Sabalio si Espinosa. And a broken play, but Espinosa will go up again. Good pick up by Kat Arado. Palomata is dug. Espinosa working hard in offense. Let's see where Kaule goes this time. Back row attack. Oh, but look at Del Palomata bantay na bantay. Oh, that's true. Palomata really just closing down the offense of a strong group athletics. Versosa from the back row, but Palomata all over that ball. And it's tough to get a block on a back row attack. Palomata and PLDT up by four in this first technical diamond. Back at the Phil Sports Arena, Arena Plus, Astigsa Sports, and we are watching PLDT. Ito yung mga members of PLDT that are not seeing action just yet, but just a reminder of how strong this team exactly. is. Exactly. I mean, uh, they already have a deep bench. This confident how much more when you have uh, Mika Reyes, Kiana D, Jovi Prado on your lineup. Okay na sila, talagang lalo pa mapofortify ang PLDT. Really such a contender for this tournament. 
But uh, Espinosa finally scoring one in the preview sequence. Davison will go up, and that's bad news for strong group. Na nagrotate na sa harap itong si Savi Davison. You know, Franny earlier mentioned Savi down ni Davison. No mercy in today's game. Davison taking advantage of that gap. That strong group said they are working on their defense, and we've seen a lot of effort. No, talaga naman they've been scrappy. Uh, really trying to go for all the balls, and nakikita natin the challenge at the net for the blocks as well. And this is really what we want to see uh, from emerging teams, such as a strong group. That's true. That's a good first ball. Kaole with a quick there. Good defense by PLDT. Davison. Oh, and she's not able to get that across. But Davison trying to uh, just tip that one over, but uh, Kaole got to extend her arms to get that block. Great anticipation, ah. great timing in that net defense. Ball right back to strong group. Orsosa is dug by PLDT there. Davison will go again with her tip. It's going to be a free ball. Another chance here. A broken play though. Davison one more time with that sharp cross. And finally, Davison getting the right angle. Uh, strong group for getting the rebounds earlier, but uh, Davison going sharp this time. Chance here again for PLDT to run their plays. That's huge. Jesse De Leon on the court now as a middle blocker. That's a great looking mm. play right there. Exactly. Really great activation from Ka to De Leon. That spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. And PLDT currently number one in spiking overall. So we're not surprised with how they're playing offensively. Of course, it starts with the defense and we know with Kat Arado always talaga hinahatid lang niya yung bola kay Kim Pajardo and uh, it, it starts with that. I know as a setter yun ang gustong gusto ninyo naman talaga hindi na kay gumagalaw. I mean, one little libero, very reliable in Kat Arado and a veteran setter and calf, a really solid combination on the side of PLDT. Davison again, taking it oh, off. She's really just uh, playing it smart. Davison just choosing her uh, offense. No, I really agree with that. I mean, earlier, sharp cross this time going down the line. But a lot of spin in that attack. There's so much control, really, and command of her offense. Outside set. Oh, back to a strong group. Dolly going again, and uh, that one bounces back again to strong group's court. Nagala relying a lot on the wing attackers. That was again read well by PLDT. A big lead for the high speed hitters here. Eight point advantage. Dolly Verhasa going again. And you got Davison and Jesse De Leon Manning, the net. Erika Santos also challenging all the balls coming in, but that one looking good for strong group. Great attack this time from Versosa. I mean, the blockers are there, but this time avoiding the blockers, changing the angle. Well, Kat Arada caught off guard in that previous sequence. Parang mas special pag naiisahan mo si Kat Arada. <laughs> I mean, one of the best liberos we have. Yes, absolutely. Oh, again, these off-speed hits coming from PLDT and um, Pedbedonia mm -hmm. is now on the court. So quick substitution for seeing uh, on the side of PLDT, Coach Ral trying different combinations. Mm -hmm. And Pedonia also was uh, starting to be uh, that clutch player. Mm -hmm. And reliable attacker on the side of a PLDT, but the net defense of high speed hitters. Ah, it's just everything working for the high speed hitters, and they are at 16 points first.
Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. And we have a good crowd. Our bosses in the house. I'm Shana Olaso, of course, with Ricky Palu. And they know that the, these games uh, from here on out are crucial. Especially for the top seed teams. So again, what is at stake here? Well, strong group just looking for their first win, Ayel, but uh, PLDT, kaya sila all out. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, again, uh, they are at second seed right now, but uh, their upcoming games are very crucial. Uh, they're still facing top seed teams like uh, uh, Creamline, Chocomucho. Mm -hmm. So they would want to get the win today as fast as they can yeah. and get the recovery that they need and prepare for their next games. That's right, and we're seeing a lot of the high-speed hitters getting some court time. Kiseo now also on the court here. So good shuffling that uh, Coach Rald is doing. Jesse De Leon also now in. We uh, started with Majoy Baron, but quickly is substituted by Jesse De Leon here. Comfortable lead for PLDT. Good pick up there by Cap, but it's a broken play. Underhanded set. Erika Santos. Rebound. Kaule pushing it out to Versosa again. He's doing uh, much of the offensive work here. Eliasa there with a chance. And Ibles now will do the setting. Still a rally here. Let's see if PLD can get a good one here. And Kaseo finally will score. I mean, for strong group, no good floor defense. But so far, it has been PLDT converting the points. Mm -hmm. And we have a timeout from strong group athletics. Coach Onyak there asking his uh, players to be more aggressive, especially in offense, because as I mentioned earlier, maganda yung depensa nila. The floor defense is there, but they're not able to convert points. And, uh, you know, strong group would also want to challenge the good floor and net defense of PLDT by, by being aggressive in attacking. They want to be able to live up to their name, is what Coach Onjok is saying. You have to come on strong. And this is the time to do it, actually. And really, para practice and see and push your, you know, yourselves to the next level. True. Meantime, PLDT with a very comfortable 10-point lead that Jesse De Leon serves. The Blesa there. Good defense. Another chance here for strong group. That one gets away. But high-speed hitters hustling there. Ostero also on the court now. And this is going to be a chance ball for strong group. Oh, that's a good one. And there's the kind of aggressive playing that Coach Onyok's looking for. Exactly. An activation in the middle. And a clean attack for strong group. You know, it's good to see that they really have these system plays that they can uh, execute and when done right, can really be lethal. And the big factor also with uh, Kaole being the playmaker. Now the defense. Spinoza back on the front here. Kiseo. Wow, now an offensive block. And uh, this is uh, uh, looking good for Strong Group. Back to back points for them. Chance to gain momentum and uh, try. Two to points. Closer. Yeah, two points for Anofre there. Straight points. Keseo looking for that hole in the back row. 
of strong groups, just a very smart play, Sheila Caseo. Exactly, simple play coming from Caseo, just spinning that one over, placement shot, but still very effective for PLDT. Rea de Maculangan is calling the shots now for PLDT. And that one is called inside by the Lions judge. A great attack from Rebleza. Great intention to go long. Mm -hmm. Found that corner pocket hole on the side of PLDT. You know, tama ka, Ayel, as the days uh, go on dito sa ating All-Filipino tournament, nakikita mo rin talaga uh, yung lakas loob, nabubuhayan na rin ang strong group and uh, they are able to push themselves more. And that's what's important for them because as Safrani mentioned earlier, they, they know it's going to be a tough job for them coming in as a new team. Mm -hmm. But, you know, fighting hard will be, will always be important. And that back set is perfect for Jules Samonte who will get on the scoreboard. Very deep bench here for PLDT. Coach Onyok uh, just reminding them that uh, they're actually doing well in terms of being aggressive in offense and some specific instructions to Kaole there can activate the middles from time to time because it has worked in a couple of mm -hmm. sequences. Yeah, we saw a lot of bright spots in that, uh, particularly in the last few exchanges. Nakapag offensive block pa sila, and uh, that should bode well for strong group. Oh, smart play there by Bedonia. Oh, Bedonia, really one of uh, the smart attackers on the side of uh, PLDT. One of uh, the additions for this confidence. A really smart play there, finding the hole. And this is a platoon substitution, an entirely different six on the court now for the high speed hitters. Chance here for PLDT. Ball right back to strong group. The guy with a good read there and quick work there by Ostero. And this is what Coach Onyok was uh, telling earlier. They want to be aggressive. They don't want to give chance balls, free balls because PLDT will definitely maximize those. Mm. Ten point lead, 22-12. The count here. PLDT just uh, coasting through this first set. And that one is inside even. You know, all told, really at this point, I think it'll be fair to say that PLDT has uh, maybe surprised everybody with their performance and uh, the level of play that they're showing here in the All Filipino. That's true, and Estero there with back-to-back -back points, finding the right holes in the floor defense. Now the chance here. The blessed there with an off-speed. Oh, pasok pa rin. Bedonia is just really going for the corner pockets. Oh, exactly. So anything uh, that uh, PLDT hitting right now, they're converting into points. They're seeing the holes. Really, a lot of clean attacks coming from them. And this is not coming from powerful attacks. These are really placement shots for them. That's right. Set point for PLDT. Yeah, it's a botched uh, attempt at a slide attack there. Bedonia tries to finish it. Good dig there by Visosa. Madonia goes again, and she has four points, and she wins that set for PLDT, and that was a quick job for the high-speed hitters against the strong group athletics in that first set, 25-12. We will take a quick break and be right back.
Oh, but the PLDT in that one, Fiseo being a highlight player, everyone contributing, and the PLDT dominating that set with a 25-12. Complete domination by the high-speed hitters of the strong group athletics. 25-12 is how that first set went, and that is with the first unit of PLDT sitting out. Mm -hmm. A quick one, really, for PLDT. We mentioned earlier this team has a deep, deep bench, so anyone put in is able to contribute. I mean, uh, Keseo earlier, Bedonia contributing points, even Samonte de Leon. So, you know, the second stringer is really stepping up, stepping up big for uh, the high-speed hitters. Meanwhile, on the side of the strong group athletics, we saw some sparks, but uh, we didn't see a lot of activation on their leading score in Versosa. And I think that they, they need more attempts coming from her as uh, PLDT was able to dominate the attacks department with 17 against the seven of strong group. And PLDT also faring well in terms of blocking, but those two blocks also were impact plays on the side of strong group. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's really good to see that strong group is able to score off their blocks also. And uh, they score first in the second set. We also mentioned how it needs to be a team effort really for strong group. And we're seeing not the, the usual uh, Versosa leading the pack, but Rebleza with a, uh, three points already. Espinosa with two Onofre. So it, it has been an effort for the entire team to come together. And the Donia has uh, really been lethal. Like a problem a strong group. This Bedonia is having a good game today. Uh, that's true. And uh, right now, uh, very different uh, starting lineup here in the second set. Uh, the the players who finished the first set uh, are also starting for PLDT. Good pickup there in the back by Spinoza. And DMAC picked that one up. So it's Samonte going down the line. Good defense by strong group. You know, they're able to sustain these rallies. That's true. Yeah. Except that time, Bedonia again going deep. Mm -hmm. Bedonia using more power this time. Taking advantage of uh, that gap in between the blockers. And, you know, as you mentioned earlier, Chiki, you know, strong group athletics really doing well in terms of floor defense. Mm -hmm. They're able to keep the rally going. It's really just them needing to convert it into a point. Oh, and there you go, right on cue. So the quick transition there from defense to offense seems to be uh, the key, you no, know, for strong group. No, exactly. As uh, Versosa stringing in some points here with Strong Group Athletics. Yeah, actually in the lead here early in the second set. 
Oh, and Versosa, kung napabayan niya yun, siguro it, it would have sailed out. It was pretty strong coming from Samonte, but that's going to be a point for PLDT. And let's listen in on Franny. Reyes has a report for us on the PLDT side. Speaking with Coach Gerald de Ricafort of the PLDT High Speed Hitters earlier, he told me that we won't see any complacency from the high speed hitters and he really expects a good performance coming from the second stringers of the team. One of those second stringers being Sheila Quiseo who told me that every opportunity given to them by the coaches is a chance to show up. It's not about the pressure but it's really just having the right attitude, the right mentality. Something that Coach Rald has been highlighting for them. He actually doesn't want them to play too aggressively na masyado silang gigil in their movements. He wants them to play with the right state of mind, the right composure, and that's why we're seeing those placement types of shots coming from the high-speed hitters. So we can expect more smart plays from the high-speed hitters as they look to dominate in this match. Now, this report was brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage for only 149 pesos a month. Back to the panel. Thanks so much, Franny. And uh, absent that service error, we're seeing a lot of uh, good um, performance here from strong group. In fact, still in the lead here early in set two. And uh, this is what we talked about earlier. If uh, they want to get the set, they really need to start strong and stay consistent. And so far, you know, better start for them. But again, it's a matter of uh, sustaining mm -hmm. and uh, maintaining that consistency. Bedonia now with five points, highest pointer for PLDT so far. Oh, good pancake save, but uh, that one is called dead already by our referee. Uh, take a look at this replay as Bedoza powering that one too. Good rebound, but no coverage on the side of a PLDT. So we're seeing more aggressive attacks coming from strong group. That looks like a service ace, the first one we're seeing here. And that is courtesy of strong group, Haukulan. And she is coming off the bench. So that's an impact serve. Off the hands of Virai in that one. Kiseo blocked. And Dimak going to the middle. Good pick up here by Versosa. Kiseo will go up again. Very persistent, like you said. Strong group here. Kiseo one more time. Espinosa will go. And Kiseo really just uh, using her, her brains here. That's true. Uh, another long rally in that one. And still uh, PLDT winning with uh, that Kaseo drop, outsmarting the floor defense there of Strong Group Athletics. You si Dimak talagang binigyan ng binigyan si Kaseo for her to just uh, get as many chances as she needs to finally score. Oh, that's a shoot set that didn't go too well for Strong. Yeah, but uh, we see the intention of uh, Kaole to activate the middles. And we have a timeout with a 6-6 score here. Depends lang rin. Kahit na pagbaba mo, di ba di ka bablock? Anong gagawin mo? Depends lang rin. Tulungan mo kung sayang naman. Tuloy-tuloy lang. Back row attack, ha? One derecho, cross court. Let's go, let's go. Let's go tayo. Pasa, Shiga, pasa tayo. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Ito lang. Six six strong group uh, is exactly where they want to be, just in step with PLDT in the second set. For those of you just uh, turning on your sets, 25-12 was how the first set went. Easy win for PLDT. Different, yeah, different scenario here. That's real good response there after the timeout. Espinosa getting a point in. 
And I mean, uh, this is where a strong group can really capitalize on. They, they have the momentum right now. It's not just sparks anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they're really delivering their own points. But a okay, uh, quick side out there for PLDT. And that time around, she didn't need three attempts. Buhanan niya on that first down the line. Kaslan just having a hard time keeping that ball in play. That's a good serve. A chance here. And Dimac going back to Samonte. And that one clearly point off the block. PLDT up in the first technical timeout. Arena Plus Astigsa Sports, a much closer second set, 8-7. PLDT leads just by one. What are you liking from what you're seeing with strong group, Ayel? Well, definitely it's their floor defense, just uh, really trying to keep the rally alive, but also just being more aggressive in terms of offense. Yeah, look at those combination attacks. Those look good. For Sosa now with her third point, she was quiet in the first set. And... They're good passing also. They're able to really convert. And uh, Akale, I mean, uh, providing that stability also. Just allowing her teammates, giving them more chances of scoring. And again, the rebound. So a chance here to counter for Strong. And you know, PLDT also... Looking more disorganized ah. at the start of this second set. And Kanina sabi natin, yeah, it has to be a, a team effort talaga for strong group. And that's what we're seeing. Of course, Kaole able to distribute, like uh, you said, with Espinosa with four points. And Bless have Versosa each with three. So, marami nagtutulong tulungan on the that's side. true, but uh, the long shots have been effective on yeah. the side of a PLDT. Making sure they target the corner pockets. Oh, and that's at eight. Not quite. The ball's still good. Samonte getting some good shots here. Going down the line this time. Five points already for Jules Samonte. Take a look at this replay. A reverse set from the Makulangan. Only one blocker there. Great effort on the side of Espinosa to still get that coverage. And we have a little lull here. We see our second referee uh, checking on Espinosa. And uh, I believe she will be taken out. I think she had a bad or hindi maganda yung pagka no, that's true. recover niya or pag, pagsak niya no but that, it's a good sign that she is able to walk off the court no and we will have Franny Reyes check on the situation there and we'll give you an update as soon as we have it back to the game here she did say with a serve and that's another service ace loaded okay uh, really 
Well, taking advantage of the opportunity given to them here. More playing time for them against uh, strong group athletics. And a chance to counter here for PLDT. That is untouched and uh, outside. So strong group will get the ball back. Wide there for uh, De Leon. So it has been a tight set so far. I mean, strong group. So making sure that uh, they have uh, the momentum. And here's a chance again for Strong to set up their offense. Last line here is a block that that sails out. So another deadlock of Kaole. The reverse set. Really good to see strong group uh, with their points all spread out. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Bedonia. And again, this is bad news now with Bedonia back at the front. And she has that leaping ability we're seeing in, particularly in this last sequence there. That's true. Key addition to this confidence stepping up for PLDT, talking about uh, Curseo and Bedonia. Of course, uh, Jesse De Leon, uh, one of the uh, <laughs> veterans on the side of PLDT now with a service ace. A great serve there coming from De Leon, targeting Versosa. Oh, they've been uh, trying to go to Versosa from the uh, service line. De Leon, architect by day. <laughs> <laughs> And that one is off the hands of Ostero. That's going to be a point no, and for SGA. Mm -hmm. And Dreslan really has been uh, doing well in terms of using the hands of the blockers to score a point. I mean, TLDT read, really reading the offense mm -hmm. well, but uh, strong group finding ways to score a point. Oh, it's a quick uh, conversion there. That's a really good looking exchange sequence, that last one from TLDT. And uh, let's turn it over to Franny and let's get an update uh, on what is going on the sidelines, particularly with Espinosa. Espinosa is doing well. She did have a bad fall going for that ball and hit the LED. She's currently icing the nape of her neck as well as her left wrist, but it's really just from the bad fall. So far, it doesn't look like anything serious, and we may see her come back to the game later on, back to the panel. Thanks so much for that update, Franny. And I'm sure strong group also wants Espinosa, who already has four points today, but Chica Espinosa has uh, really been an important cog here for strong. Another deadlock. Mm -hmm. A strong group uh, really wanting to keep this game close. <laughs> Yeah, and you know the, the challenges uh, just uh, mm -hmm. uh, keep on coming. At nga na si Espinosa is sidelined, hopefully not for the whole game. And you don't want these service yeah. errors either. Three point for PLDT, chance for PLDT actually to gain momentum yeah. here. They haven't really no, built momentum, just the same as uh, they di did in the first set. Ah, that's right. No, ayal na pa, pa isa isa yung mga puntos din ng PLDT. Yeah, but right now, they're uh, getting some free points. And, well, it's a second technical timeout that will cut the momentum here as we take a quick break. PLDT on top by two.
at the Phil Sports Arena. This is a second of our double header today. Earlier, there was an exciting five setter won by uh, Nextled against Farm Fresh. And here now we have the strong group athletics really challenging PLDT in the second set. Just a two point game. Oh, into the net. So, yung momentum na was starting to build up before the technical timeout. Ito, napigil na naman. And Strong Group will get a chance to even things out. Ilan, ilan deadlock na ba tayo, Ayel? <laughs> so, couple of deadlocks already. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Strong Group really uh, capitalizing on some of the errors of a party. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's a service ace now uh, on the side of Strong Group. Hokulan there with her second point. Off the hands of Kisea in that one. A great dig. Back row attack by Versosa. Good pick up by Jules Samonte. Kiseo again using her smarts, but well read by Strong Group. Running attack. That one will score. And that's Ostero there off the block. And Demacolang has been uh, going to Kiseo, but this time switching things up, uh, choosing Ostero and only one blocker there. I mean, Ostero definitely had the advantage in the previous sequence. And this is where the, the uh, experience comes in for Demac. Alam niya where exactly yung timing kung kailan niya papalitan. Naguguluhan tuloy yung, open, yung depensa ng kabila. And Ostero with a service error there. A break for Strong Group who will get the ball back. Oh, and the, the errors from the service line really uh, not allowing PLDT to gain momentum towards the end stretch of this set. Oh, and that's another error just as you speak, uh, Ayel. And ito yung mga, ito talaga yung kailangan linisin ng strong group, ano? Kasi wala ka pang kalaban dyan. It's only the net in the way. And uh, towards the end stretch, uh, the points are more crucial. So uh, they want to be more careful, especially in committing errors and violations. And they are able to earn their points. Another good uh, offensive uh, play there from strong group. So Denya scoring her first point. Uh, great for the win there from Kaole, seeing that uh, Sir Denya had the uh, advantage there in that offense. And Samonte again just uh, pouring on the power. She leads all scorers on the PLD. Check that. She is tied with Kaseo with six points. Oh, also Bedonia already has six points. And that spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. And uh, that looks better for PLDT. Service aces, it's Kiseo again. Uh, Kiseo very lethal from the service line. We have a timeout. A good passing needed on the side of the strong group athletics. I mean, uh, they've done a good job of keeping this game close. Mm -hmm. They don't want to just give it away easily off service aces because uh, they've been doing well in the yeah. passing department all throughout the set, but right now, very crucial points for them. He's here with another good serve, but that's a good first ball for strong group. He's here showing off her defense this time. And the Donya going deep and Mercado, alam na alam niya kung saan niya babagsakin yung bola. That's true, and this is a good rotation on the side of a PLD P3 attackers on the front row. And you have Kiseo, one of the good uh, you know, players in terms of serving. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Kaole going to the right pin. Rososa was blocked there. Jules ready with six. That one is called outside to the delight of a strong group. We see the, uh, her, the teammates over at the bench uh, celebrating that point. Another free point for your strong group athletics off that attack air from Bedonia. But you see the intention of Bedonia to really go strong. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, too much angle in the previous sequence. As it goes in the second set, two points is already a big lead for PLDT here. So strong group will want to get the ball back. Oh, look at Samonte on fire. Keen attack coming from Samonte. Greater verse set also from the Makulangan. Only one blocker there. So much space for the cross court attack. Jules Samonte taking advantage of this court time she's getting. And clearly, Coach Rald unfazed. No, talagang pinanatili na yung second unit. Oh, it's a good angle on that Raslan to Sokyun. Oh, that's true, Raslan. Uh, really, great execution there with that cross-court attack. Kaole with the reverse set, but perfect execution there from Raslan, avoiding the blockers. Feel good about that one. Four points already for Susan Raslan. Of course, we highlighted her at the top of the coverage. She's uh, another one that is a uh, a, a go-to for strong group. Kasamani Versosa. But PLDT in the lead now by three, which is the biggest lead that PLDT has enjoyed in the second set. Contrast to the 12:25 drubbing. All the high speed hitters. So Raslan is on the roll on the side of Strong Group Athletics. And uh, Kaole just recognizing that Raslan is the hot hands right yeah. now. Lead scorer for SGA with five points. San Raslan. Bedonia has been very, very, yes, she has been very effective on the left pin. Actually has been the go-to player for PLVT in this set. Set point for PLDT. That is a point twenty-five and another win for PLDT, but definitely a better performance for Strong Group in the second set. You know, just a really overall a team effort on the side of PLDT. Strong Group challenge them, but uh, Samonte stepping up in that uh, second set, uh, getting the important points, especially towards an end stretch. You know, getting a lot of attempts coming from uh, the sets of uh, the Makulangan and uh, Samonte just delivering the points. And we'll discuss more after the break.
It didn't come as easy for PLDT in the second set, considering also the many errors on their side. But still a win for the high-speed hitters. I mean, uh, strong group athletics starting strong in that uh, second set. They were able to keep it close. Uh, they even led in a couple of sequences. But, uh, you know, PLDT just having more experience, you know, build team chemistry and uh, just execution, especially towards the end stretch of uh, the set uh, where the points really mattered a lot. That's uh, when uh, PLDT really came alive. I mean, Samonte bringing up points and the crucial moments allowed PLDT to uh, take that second set as uh, we take a look at the numbers. More attack points on the side for on, of PLDT, but uh, improved numbers on the side of the strong group athletics. But uh, PLDT faring more in terms of blocking and uh, serving two blocks, three service aces, but a strong group also with uh, two even PLDT giving away more free points to strong group. But overall, you know, the performance of the strong group athletics really improved in that second set, and that's the reason why they were able to challenge and push PLDT. Kung mabalik lang nila yung blocking nila, we recall that in the first set, naka two points pa sila off the block. If that aspect of their game uh, returns in this third set, then strong group will uh, have a better time. Of course, we note that si Espinosa, one of their lead players, is also sidelined, uh, at least for the second set. We're hoping she gets back because of a bad fall that she incurred. But uh, this is set three now, a must-win situation for strong groups. They're looking for their first win here in the All Filipino and their first ever uh, tournament here in the PDL. Naalala mo ba yung mga first, yung first year mo sa... <laughs> Do you believe then na kapag ka medyo mas bago, hindi the pressure, whether individually as a player, if you're new, um, or as a team, there's something to be said also about uh, just, you know, playing without that much pressure. Oh, that's true. It's really just uh, more of a learning in every game. And you know, just uh, establishing, building uh, the the team chemistry. Tapos siguro ang mindset nila dito ay alis. Ang kalaban nila, nila ay ang kanila sarili dito, eh, di ba? They just want to improve every game and better their performance both individually and as a team. The LDT will score first in this set. Kaseyo with point number eight. We have Kaseyo not all power. Mostly placement shots, but it's really effective. And that's off the block. We have Furukawa coming into the uh, game for the first time. One of the taller players of Strong Group. And uh, that's one thing we notice also on Strong Group Athletics. Since they are a new team, they're still trying to find that good mix of players. So we're seeing a lot of adjustments of, on their end, especially on uh, who will start in every set. Good read there on defense for Strong. And that's four hits. That was an error on the attack by Jesse De Leon. A point for Strong Group Athletics. And uh, let's uh, check in with Franny Reyes. Strong Group Athletics may have lost that set, but they did come close, and that's something worth celebrating. The energy in the huddle was palpable, and you could really feel that each of the girls really wanted to keep going, and they want to keep playing in this match. Now, this is actually a very quiet team, and the second six has been trying to be more vocal, to add some more noise. That's something that Yumi Furukawa actually told me, and she's in this third set right now, and she's there to also add a bit more energy to this already already excited strong group athletics team. Now, she told me also that this team has had sparks of so let's see if they can bring that all the way and get their first set win. This report was brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PVL coverage for only 149 pesos a month. Back to the panel. Thanks a lot, Franny. And we are seeing uh, smiles. We're hearing some cheers from the side of strong group. But <laughs> <laughs> the service errors really, I mean, you know, talked about improvement in this game. They've, they've improved their floor defense, they improved their attacking, but uh, really they can't give away free points from the service line because uh, that's where it all starts. Three all, must win third set for strong group. 
Good stops there, the rebounds, and slowing the ball down for a strong group. BLD will get another chance, and what an angle there. And nakikita natin ang favorite ni Bedonia, yung mga sharp cross na ganyan. And she is in double digits. That's true. A spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. It was a tight set, but the Bedonia still find the right angle to score a point. Onofre sneaking in points here. And when she is activated, it's uh, usually pretty effective no? as a middle. Oh, that's Onofre. true. Also, tallied uh, some points earlier. Second set. Uh, so, uh, that's so one you know, department also that they can look into in terms of attacking, giving more attempts for the middles. There you go. Ball right back, though, to strong group. Another chance for them to set up offense. Espinosa back on the court. And uh, obviously, she's OK, which is a good sign and good news. Uh, especially that uh, she's actually the veteran also and capable scorer on the side of uh, strong group athletics. So you would want Espinosa to be on the court. Strong group with the lead now. That. Now she's going down the line, showing her versatility. That's true. A very talented outside hitter here. Bedonia on top of Kaole in the previous sequence. I mean, talking about versatility, she can really choose her angles well. Oi! Good read there by Stero. And Iseo's turn now to show off. And she goes down the line also. A great angle again for Giseo, recognizing a gap there, a hole in zone one. Perfect execution on her end. Oh, the serve, but the good first ball there for strong group. And that one is good enough. A slight attack by Onofre, and she scores her fifth point. Again, Onofre, whenever she's given a chance, to go for a hit. So really I delivering agree. points for the team. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I think Aule is recognizing that Puma Porciento talaga to si Onofre. But she is in the back rotation now, so we're going to have to wait until she gets back to the front. Underhanded set for Kiseo. And another chance here for PLDT. Dimac going back and uh, slide by Ostero. Stopped by Strong Group. Kahulo, uh, pero good read there for Strong Group. Kiseo this time with a tip. Kaole handles that one. Kiseo will go again. Good rebound. Yeah. And the uh, laps there by Espinosa. Well, she is uh, a bit of a Because she came from the bench. But you know the, the intention. She was trying to slow things down by going for an off-speed attack. Unfortunately, too short for her. And we can see that you cannot underestimate the skill that is necessary to, uh, ano eh, to execute these mga off-speeds. They are not easy. And a lucky break here for Strong Group on that service error. They will get to eight points first in this uh, first technical timeout.
Arena Plus, Astixa Sports, and we are glad you are still with us. Uh, late in the, the day today, it has been a long but exciting day for volleyball here at the Phil Sports. Chiki Roapuno with Ayala Sonera. Franny Reyes is our uh, third man or woman on the team. Panel, the, the coverage team, that is. And 8-7, lamang ang strong group dito, Ayel. Another strong start here for a strong group athletics. Well, this is a necessary last push for them if they want to keep playing. And, you know, to be able to win a set here would be a really big uh, feat mm -hmm. for them. It's going to be good implications in terms of, you know, their improvement as a team, in terms of their execution. Narinig natin si Coach Onyo kanina sabi niya, take advantage na hindi yung matatangkad yung nandiyan ngayon as we're looking at uh, the second string of PLDT on the court. So you're not seeing Del Palomata on the court, Jesse De Leon, you're not seeing Joy Baron. Yeah, Davison as well. Mm -hmm. And this, I believe, is the first challenge we're seeing today, no, AL? Called by PLDT on the black touch. <laughs> of that challenge we just uh, mentioned also at the top of the coverage i am that it's going to be uphill for uh, the high speed hitters from here on out playing uh, cherry pigo and then signal and then cream line for the last three games so uh, they would want to get this win build good confidence and you know really prepare well because uh, really big games coming for the high speed hitters Contact ba doon? Ah, wala. Yeah. No contact there. So that is an unsuccessful challenge by Coach Raul. Also point stays with a strong group athletics. Kiseo. Off speed there, Nepito. Double touch. Double touch from strong group. Kaole not in the best position to go for that set. Oh, Jesse De Leon is uh, back on the court here, or she is on the court. Little blocker. One of the taller players from high speed hitters. And Dimac, we know that she has a. Uh, really, a lethal serve. That's one of those things na, bakit nga ba ang mga setter magagaling mag-serve? Mag I know. No explanation. <laughs> on but, uh, again, Demakulangan, one of the lethal servers on the side of uh, PLDT. For Sosa, picked up there by Kiseo. She will go again. And this time, the blocking of Samonte will score for PLDT. Great timing, great to read on the side of Samonte. That move brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. Focusing down the, down the line attack over Sosa. PLDT has overtaken the lead. It's going to be a free ball because of that good serve by Dimac. And a quick, good pick up there by Romero. Let's see where Dimac will go back set to Samonte. And that's a power tip, perfectly placed. Exactly, perfect execution for Samonte. I mean, he didn't force a lot of uh, power, just tipping that one over. Nakakarami na si Dimac dito at the serve. Two-point lead now for PLDT. They were behind at the first technical timeout. And Versosa will get the ball back. And that's the side out that they needed. They cannot allow PLDT to have runs like they had a mini one just now. Yeah, that's true. Versosa very aggressive in the previous sequence. And that's what worked for them in the second set that uh, we're not seeing a lot here on the third set. And again, Jesse De Leon and Dimac just... Uh, averting a possible run here from strong group getting the ball back. This is true, a lot of clean attacks coming from the LDC. A better flow for them here in the third set. That's 
a good first ball by Espinosa. That's going to be a check ball. Quick point for strong group. Starts with a good first pass. Valdezan, so there. Going long, definitely going for the hands of De Leon. Oh, wow, that off speed, perfect execution. Again, Bedonia, a really smart attacker here for uh, PLDT. A very you know, versatile, as you mentioned earlier, this time going off speed. No one anticipated that on the side of a strong group. Daming baon to si Bedonia. And she'll leave the defense guessing as to what she is going to serve next. But at the serve now is Jesse De Leon, who also has contributed five points today. Back set by Jesse. Oh, this time good pick up by strong group. Back row attack Espinosa. Timokulangan with the defense. Kiseo from back row into the net. That's an error on the side of PLDT. Short there for uh, Kiseo. But. Uh, uh, PLDT, really better execution in this set, but strong group still doing well in terms of keeping it really close. Back set to Samonte. Naglag at Pinalo. Another chance here. Where will DMAC go? Good defense from strong group. Outside set. Bedonia, too much for the back row of strong group. Look at Bedonia with her 13 points already today. Team score on the side of uh, PLDT. Using zone 5 this time. Good floater serve. Espinosa with the push. Bedonia again, this time with a rebound there by Strong Group. Sharp cross picked up by Espinosa. And the slide attack, and good variation there, playmaking by Dimac. Uh, that's true, recognizing that uh, they haven't been guarding Ostero. Quicker attack this time with a running attack. Loose block coming from SGA. Easy point for Ostero in the previous sequence. PLDT now with a three point <laughs> advantage. Another floater. It's a tough serve from Samonte. Stero, the hang time though. <laughs> I mean, Bedonia, rather, yeah. Just really scoring uh, multiple points here for PLDT. And look, PLDT all of a sudden up by four in the second tactical timeout. Arena Plus Astig sa Sports. And real quickly, let's go back to what uh, PLDT has left in the last uh, remaining days of 
this tournament. No, PLDT, they're still facing top seed teams in uh, Charitigo, Signal, and uh, Creamline. I mean, those three teams are in the top six mm -hmm. where the, there is a tight race in terms of uh, you know, a semi-final slot. So positioning will definitely matter. No crucial game, so them preparing and getting wins will be very important uh, to keep actually to know the position where they are right yeah. now. They're currently at second seed, only one loss so far for PLDT. That's right, only one of two teams with one loss, Chocomucho being the other one. So we mentioned it also, I yelled that really PLDT has uh, exceeded expectations, I think in this particular tournament or maybe met expectations because we know that Savvy Davison has really been a game changer here for PLDT. They did not disappoint. If anything, they have really uh, impressed a whole lot of new fans. And uh, speaking of new fans, but I mean mga bagong fans ito si Misha Bedonia. Although we know from her FEU days na talaga namang may dala itong si Misha. It's been an FEU day today with uh, Kiseyo and Bedonia. Of course, Max Wanko is another addition here. Inside of Kari. No, in a, a Kari naman si Max Wanko. So a lot of mga FEU Tams um, coming from uh, the collegiate uh, leagues, uh, making their names there and coming into the pros. On the side of strong group athletics, it has been uh, their medals uh, stepping up in today's game. Joel Fernandez also has joined mm -hmm. the pros with Signal. And Ostero ending it with a running attack. Ostero very efficient in scoring, especially in that uh, running attack. Almost an automatic point when just given that ball. And it's a uh, Scary situation here for strong group. PLDT just uh, inching closer and closer to winning this match. Espinosa blocked. Good coverage by Versosa there. Oh, that's a that is it. over ball there. <laughs> Overpass open yeah. from uh, De Leon, but it wasn't anticipated well by strong group athletics. Nineteen fourteen. Stare with uh, seven points already. Good cover by Samonte. That one is outside, oh, yeah. and uh, two errors from De Leon in a row. But they're just laughing it off. I mean, they have some cushion here. Yes, they do. And you know, you really, um, you will, you don't have to second guess. Actually, the intentions of Coach Rald here giving the uh, first unit uh, opportunity to rest and at the same time allowing the second stringers to be uh, I guess more comfortable playing together because they might be called up for the more important games. True. I mean again important yeah. games uh, coming for them. They want to have everyone to have their AK oh. and have more weapons as much as they can and right now you know we see uh, Betonia, Queseo, even Samonte stepping up. Outside set to Versosa. Too easy a read for the defense of PLDT. Caseo with a soft one there. Versosa also catching that one. And quick pick up there. Jesse De Leon is also dug. And that hits uh, four hits. Miscue there. Crucial yeah. one, PLDT just four points away in yeah. taking this match. Service. Oh, good serve. Raslan had a hard time with that one. Kiseo, the damage. 
Fast low set coming from uh, the Makulangan. Meeting the blockers in that one and uh, choosing the smaller blocker there in Kaole. And we saw Kaseo earlier today in Apatsin Mayal. She needed two, three, four attempts before she gets the point. And uh, at this, ngayon, talagang one try and she gets it. She will slowly gain that confidence. Mm -hmm. Service error there. Lucky break here for a strong group. And they need a rally at this point. We got a new player on the court for a strong group. Replesa. Replesa actually started. And chance ball. Oh, good effort there at the net for a strong group. Di sila na patayan. Rosasa going up. Samonte from the right end this time. Oh, Samonte comes alive in the important stretches of the game. Mm -hmm. That uh, second set earlier contributed two points towards the end. But uh, right now, again, some important points to end this match yeah, for PLDT. We're seeing all smiles there. That connection between D-Mac and Samonte has been tried and tested. Oh, that would escape Sreya de Makulaga. And again, another chance here for strong group. This is why Coach Onyok put in Reblesa. She was uh, very aggressive earlier in the first set in terms of attacking. Oh, good defense. Now, if they are able to convert, then they might be able to stretch this match. Another good pickup. For Sosa, picked up that time too. Oh, you know, we got to commend Kaole there. They're working double time in the back. I mean, it results in broken plays, but at least hindi sila napapatayan. Stable floor defense, but this time a faster and uh, more powerful attack coming from Bedonia. Multiple match points for PLDT. And here's a chance. Will this be it for Samonte? She goes deep and finds the line, and that is it for the high-speed hitters. It's 25-17 for this third set, so there's a little bit of a challenge for the high-speed hitters in set number two, but all told, it has been a uh, pretty uh, easy and quick win for PLDT. Exactly, good display of uh, team effort on the side of PLDT. Uh, their usual starter started in the first set, but uh, you know, the second stringers uh, came in towards the end stretch and played uh, the entire game from second to third. And re really, they stepped up big today. They were able to execute the game plan flawlessly, but uh, without some uh, with some challenge as well coming from the strong group athletics. And let's take a quick look at uh, some of the best plays of this match, courtesy of uh, Ostera had a lot of good ones. Oh, that's true, especially in that running attack. You know, the surprise plays coming from the Makulangan to Ostero has been uh, very efficient on the, the third set. All right, we're going to get a chance to talk more about this set. We're going to take a quick break. Stay right there.
And that's how it went for PLDT going over with strong group and setting up uh, for their fifth consecutive win and a good place to be considering they have three tough teams ahead of them, IL. 25-17 to finish the, the third set. The really great team effort inside the PLDT. All right, and let's turn it over to Franny with the best player of the game. Thanks, Chicky and Ayel. Kasama ko na yon si Kisha Bedonya, ang ating best player of the game. Kisha, congratulations, first of all. Alam kong kinakabahan ka. Do not worry. Mabilis lang to. Um, I have to ask, you had extended minutes today. How does that help you, especially in preparation for your future games with heavy hitters for, com for opponents? Um, for me lang po, um, tinitake advantage ko po yung... yung chance na binigay po sa akin ng coaches and syempre po hindi po mawala ng tiwala sa sarili and syempre po hindi po kami magsa-stop na mag-training po mag-aral po na mag-aral ng mga kalaban po namin for next mga games namin. Now speaking of your next three games, Cherry Tigo, Signal HD Spikers, Creamline Cool Smashers, ano ang gagawin ng PLDT High Speed Hitters to prepare for these matches? Yun nga po yung sinabi ko, um, di po kami mawawala ng training talaga po and Yun po um mag ano po kami ng mag review po kami ng mga past games nila kung sino po yung mga tutunan po namin doon ayun po. Now to focus more siguro on the high speed hitters si coach Rald mahilig talaga siya sa tamang mindset, uh, correct mentality. Ano naman ang mentality na yun para sa isang Kisha Bedonya? Um para po sa akin talaga yung tiwala sa sarili and yun po yung every 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 minutes po na binibigay sa amin ng coaches po. As in, pinapakita po talaga namin yung ano namin. At wala pong katakot-takot sa loob ng court. Kasi pag, pag napapressure ka po, dun pa talaga yung parang nawawala ka sa sarili mo. Parang ganun sa akin po. Thank you. Thank you so much, Keisha. Congratulations. Hindi nga malalim. Tapos na. <laughs> Chiki, ayan, let's close this out. Thanks so much, Franny. And it's really great to hear from the likes of mm -hmm. Kisha Bedonia. And uh, yung tiwala siya sa sarili at talagang 100% uh, mm -hmm. mag improve after today pa. Especially for Bedonia, just starting her pro career, you know. But uh, we already see good potential from her challenging, really strong opponents. But, you know, in today's game, she stepped up big, yeah. but, you know, also got a lot of help. From uh, Keisha, also from Adeleon. I mean, Ostero also contributing points. And uh, really, uh, the, the second stringer stepping up big. Demakolangan also setting up everyone so well today. And I'm pretty sure they were able to uh, gain that confidence today, especially uh, they're facing, again, big opponents in their next games. Yeah, that was a well deserved player of the game. Uh, honors for. Uh, Kicha Bedonia though. Let's uh, take a quick look at the match stats. A very dominant win for PLDT in terms of numbers. 50 attack points against the 28 of Strong Group Athletics. 8 block points against the 2 of Strong Group Athletics. For 4 service aces against the 2 of Strong Group Athletics. But you know, Strong Group Athletics was able to keep it close in the um, second set and third set. But again, experience and maturity just coming in for PLDT in today's game. Absolutely. And again, it was really a chance also for them to flex their uh, very deep bench as we saw the second unit doing really well. And this is what we have in store for you in our next game day. We've got uh, Capital One Solar Spikers going up against the Akari Chargers for our first game on April 11th, Thursday at the Phil Sports. And we will cap that day with a matchup between Signal HD and Cherry Tigo. As you mentioned, these games again uh, between the top tier teams, all exciting. So that will be it for us. It's been a pleasure as usual. Ayel Estraniero and Franny Reyes and our director, Nick Urjo. This has been Chiki Puno. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you again for our continuing coverage of the PVL All-Filipino Conference on Filipinas Live.